Okay guys, we're just in the lockup for today. Um, we're gonna go over the uh, stock that we have inside at Retrobike Stullman. Being the 3rd of July now, so if you're watching this you know, a few months in advance, a lot of these bikes will probably be sold, but if you're watching it relatively early, you can probably still nab in and ask a few questions and see what stuff is available. So I'll just turn around on the camera and go through what we have. So starting at the top, we have the CB500, the RS kind of thing or whatever you want to call it that we've uh, put together. That's up on Dundee if you want to have a look at that one. Nice bike. This bike just in as well. Hopefully you're going to be able to get out this one. The Honda GB500 Tours Trophy. Really special bike. Um, 33 on the clock. The GT185, I'm not sure if it is for sale. Maybe for the right price. We still have our SR250 in. We have our Kawasaki 400, which is a four-cylinder uh, shaft-driven um, cruiser, which is very unusual and makes a great... Uh, great noise as you can imagine, high revving. Next we have our Habana, which is our Aprilia Habana, which is a very popular little scooter, mostly because it is quite quick in that it's, uh, it'll go up to about 70, 80 kilometers an hour. RD400 isn't quite ready, um, but we're looking to get that done in the next while. Uh, full recommission of the bike, low kilometer bike, full engine rebuild, only 12,000 kilometers. Uh, from sitting and all that kind of stuff. So uh, really, really original, nice little thing. And uh, next we have my VFR 400, which is not for sale. So don't ask about that bike, it's not for sale. That's in for service. We have our CBR 250RR MC22, which is also not for sale. We then have an XT350, which is a beautiful, beautiful bike. Really, really nice. Uh, again, original condition. All the red gators, everything looking really good. Next to that, we have a Yamaha DT125, which has kind of been done up a bit. Lots of money spent on it. Uh, you can see even from the exhaust, new exhaust, all that kind of stuff. There's a whole load of extras that I'll go through on it when I'm doing the video, kind of blinged up and uh, all this paint and everything, all this stickering done really, really nicely on it. We then have a Moto Guzzi 850 Le Mans. So that's Mark II, uh, not the Mark I, but still a really desirable bike, really, really nice condition. Uh, running and riding really well. My dad's been out on that quite a bit. We then have a special bike, which is an Aprilia RS50. Uh, so very hard got here in Ireland anyway. It didn't come out here, um, but really nice little bike. 2003 model with uh, 15,000 kilometers on it. I've heard really good things about these little small 50s. Uh, very, very enjoyable. You can see the little camera mount there as well. Next then, we still have the Scoopy, our Scoopy 75. Don't know how that has, hasn't gone yet. We have our SLR uh, 650 with all the kind of manuals and everything to go with. That's a beautiful bike. I have a video up on that on the uh, YouTube channel. And uh, next then is a Honda XR 600R. So it's not the L version, but this is the more desirable one. The large plastic tank we also have the smaller tank with it a uh, really really cool bike really nice condition good little exhaust system on us uh, only 21,000 kilometers on the clock and nice nick next to that then we have our xr 400 which actually since the video we've actually put new plastics on it so it's looking really smart as you can see front, front mud guard rear mud guard side panels all that have been a change out they are original oem ones as well but they're brand new Suzuki 150 two stroke 1966 with electric stars is still available. We have our XL R uh, XL 350R, uh, I should say. Uh, Honda here as well, which is a really, really nice little bike. And uh, we have the CB 125S as well on a ZB place. Really good looking bike as well. Nice color. Uh, next to that, we have a Bandit. It's not ours. It's not in. Uh, it's just in for a service. We then have the Transalp here, which is a Honda Transalp, just trade in XL 650, I believe, on that one. And then we have another NC30, so same thing as this here. But um, I think I'm going to be selling this one. It's had full uh, rebuild, everything done to it, spark plugs, oil change, uh, powder coated front wheels, uh, front and rear wheels, brand new tires worth over 250 quid on it, uh, carbs redone and balanced. 
uh, exhaust system has been, you know, uh, recommissioned because they have a lot of times they have holes in them, but this one's been redone. It's the original exhaust system. It's had aftermarket, um, aftermarket, but o OEM looking fairings put on it, which are much better than what we're on for four. And um, what else is there? There's a uh, new levers, new, new everything, new mirrors, new this bloody bloody blah from everywhere. Every bit of the bike has been redone and re redone uh, very nicely. It's an '89 bike as well, so it's first year, so it's a rare uh, first year NC30 as well. So, but that's really it for the um, stock update. If you have enjoyed the video, do leave a like. Also comment down below what you think of all these bikes and which one was your favorite. And uh, if you are interested in stuff, again, you will have to get in contact as fast as you can because they do go uh, quite quickly. So if you're watching this a few months in advance, uh, a lot of these may have gone, but it's still good to see them. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.